You are listening to Amplify Your Success Podcast, episode 141. Today, I'm going to explore a secret productivity tip, and it's probably the opposite of anything you thought would work. So let's dig in. Welcome to the Amplify Your Success Podcast. Hey, are you a thought leader, creative entrepreneur, or change maker, and want to magnify your impact, boost influence, while creating a financial abundance? Stay tuned for today's inspiring episode with your host, Melanie Benson. Hey there, inspired entrepreneurs and business leaders. It's your host, Melanie Benson, profit amplifier for entrepreneurs and online business owners. And today, let's explore, it's going to be opposite day. Let's do the opposite of what you think will work. I'm going to teach you about Freedom Days. And I did tell you, Freedom Days transformed my life, up-leveled my productivity, it radically shifted how I get more done. And it's for a lot of people doing the opposite of anything they think would work. Um, as a matter of fact, I was having a conversation with a friend um, at lunch a few weeks back and she was talking about how she was doing Freedom Days and I was going, oh yeah, like I do Freedom Days too. It's so funny, people don't often share about it. But if you talk to some of the most successful entrepreneurs, people who are big influencers, people who are accomplishing a lot, especially people who are more sensitive and they're holding a really big space for people to do big work in the world, you'll notice they share this technique. What is a freedom day? A freedom day is when you clear space and you do not make any commitments to allow yourself the freedom to do what you feel inspired to do. Now, people use Freedom Days differently, so I'm gonna share some different ways that you might be able to use it, but let me tell you how I got to Freedom Days and how I personally found them and how I've worked with some clients to radically shift their productivity using this concept. So the idea of a Freedom Day came to me because I found that when I booked myself solid every single day, I was grumpy, <laughs> I was um, not very happy, and I would not really enjoy my work, and I was feeling a little bit resentful, and I honestly felt like I had recreated a job. And maybe that's a little bit how you're feeling these days if you've booked yourself solid. Even if you're taking the weekends, like there's something about, as an entrepreneur, I don't know about you, but I started my business to have freedom. And if so if you don't have freedom in your schedule, it can feel very oppressive, like you've literally recreated a job. And that was the inspiration for me for Freedom Days. And the way I designed Freedom Days was it I would book in my calendar days that nobody could book me for anything, including me <laughs> and not my assistant. And that gave me some float time so that I could do what I needed to do and I didn't feel so overwhelmed. You may or may not know that my corporate days, I got trained as a project manager and a project manager is someone who manages the timelines and the deliverables for project. Now I worked for a very high-end Fortune 500 company where we worked with uh, very big uh, technology projects that affected public safety. So <laughs> these were very important projects. You did not have the ability to miss something. And I found that in those projects, there was a technique I learned where they called it float time. And float time was a day or a week or a month where you gave yourself a, a, the bandwidth to catch up if everything went wrong and everything was falling behind so that you had built in time to plan for the unplannable, basically. And that's, to me, what Freedom Days are. Now, a few years back, I was working with someone, and this has come up a lot over the years, working with high achievers and uh, big name industry leaders and things like that. Like, we have a habit of booking ourselves solid because guess what? There's this high class problem of you get a million opportunities coming your way and sometimes it's hard to say no, right? And there's a hundred thousand things you want to accomplish in an unrealistic amount of time. And this client of mine was a pharmacist. She was creating a pharmacist placement business, brilliant woman, loved working with her. She was super smart, very talented, had a great vision. She's ended up doing something different since then, but at the time, this was her dream. And so when money was tight, she would jump in and start doing pharmacy work again. So in a lot of ways, she was building her business on the side. Guess what? 
all of her time was crunched down to the nanosecond. So like many service-based business owners, she had this issue of if I'm not working, I'm not making money. And yet there were all of these things to get done. Sounding familiar to you too? Uh, so what we did was, is I taught her the concept of freedom days and it revolutionized everything for her because she would have these projects that would take longer than expected or new tasks would, would sprout up and she would fall behind because she didn't know where to put them because she was book solid. So by teaching her uh, freedom days, what happened was she started to create space so that catching up was not a luxury. It was built into her life. It was built into her schedule. And it allowed her to accomplish 10 times more, 10 times faster. Now, here's why Freedom Days are something I want you to consider. If you are in the grind and you've got a big vision and you're trying to accomplish things in record time, you've got a lot of moving parts, You and then maybe you're like me and you're more sensitive and you're empathic and you need bandwidth. And so here's the thing. If you are empathic and sensitive, you need more space than most people will ever need. You need built in freedom days so that you have time to recharge, regroup, tap back into your creative forces and really just do some self care. And I personally, this is a little side note, but I personally feel like the grind that everybody posts about and there's these, big name people teaching, you've got to grind it out, you've got to hustle harder. Like, I think that's a myth. I do not think that's a sustainable way to build a business. And I've had a lot of behind the scenes conversations with people over the years about this. So to me, freedom days are a remedy for the grind, for the overwhelm, for the busyness. And I think the more downtime you have, the more freedom you have, the more creative you will be, the faster you will solve problems, and the more likely you will be to uh, feel energized and excited about your business. So I mentioned earlier, freedom days are days that you don't plan any business activity, but you keep yourself plugged into what do you mo feel most inspired to do. Now, sometimes you will have freedom days just for self-care. You might um, set up um, like things to do with friends. That's one of the things I like to do on my freedom days, book a lunch, go um, to the spa. Sometimes I do nothing. Sometimes I'll go for a hike. I like to keep freedom days for what I feel inspired to do. And that's the whole point of a freedom day. And just, just so you see what I do with them, my Fridays are my freedom days. I don't book traditionally book appointments on those days unless I've got a bunch of travel coming up and I need to put some things somewhere. So Fridays, typically I will keep clear for doing what I feel inspired to do. And sometimes that's finishing a project or doing some writing or catching up on podcasts, right? Like I want you to give yourself permission to use a freedom day the way you want. Now I'm trying something new and I'm, I'm sharing it out loud because I think this is where my stretch is and maybe it is for you too. It's easy for me to take a day but I'm going to challenge myself to take a week at the end of the month. And um, that's because I've got some really big things coming up. There's some big projects that I never seem to really get in the headspace and momentum because I have to, I move in and out of them because I have so much going on. And so a week could be feeling like a luxury, could feel impossible. But what if you challenged yourself to create a week a month or a week a quarter to clear the decks that week, not allow things to get booked, and you use it to deep dive on a project that you've been putting off or a book that you've been meaning to write or uh, like planning something really extraordinary for the next big level that you step into. So those are some ideas. Uh, my friend that I was having lunch with a while back, she was talking about like she schedules uh, weekly or sorry, a week long freedom days because that for her that gives her permission to travel do self-care and she does a lot of really big events and that was her way of doing it my client i mentioned we ended up creating a day a week that was her freedom day and that gave her that bandwidth to catch up one other thing i do is and i was recently coaching a client in the mastermind about this because she had gone through a bunch of travel she was feeling really burned out she was feeling this angst of like oh my god i have all this stuff to catch up on i don't have any time i need to get back into it but she was exhausted 
And so if we are doing a lot of travel, going to a lot of events, or you're hosting an event, or you've had a really big push or a launch, you need to give yourself the bandwidth of some freedom days to reintegrate after the big push. And so I gave her permission. I'm like, take the week off, regroup. And it was like, She only ended up taking two or three days, but just that permission to fully disengage and regroup was all she needed to get right back into the flow again. So what do you need to do with this? What kind of freedom days could really give you the bandwidth you need to play the bigger game, to have the creativity, to have the energized inspiration for the next big thing? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, Now, you can head over to AmplifyYourSuccessCommunity.com, which is our free community. Um, We're going to have a conversation about this. I'm probably going to do a Facebook Live about it. But let's also talk about what gets in the way and why you aren't doing this. So if you've been talking to yourself going, Melly, this is crazy talk. I can't do this. Or I'm way too busy. I could never create freedom like this in my life. I want to challenge you. You may have a limitation in your paradigm. You may have fears that are um, becoming real, like your logic brain is like, that will never work. But deep down inside, maybe you're feeling this inspiration around this idea and wishing it could work for you. Maybe you feel conflicted about it. It's possible that you have a hidden profit drain that's not just affecting this, but other areas of your business. And I want to encourage you to stop what you're doing right now, write this down and head over to melaniesquiz.com. And make sure that you have taken the Hidden Profit Trains quiz. Because when you take this quiz, it will illuminate for you and for me, for you, where you may be blocking your next level success, your ability to achieve a dream or a goal that you've wanted for a really long time. And it'll give you some next steps, and which is very super exciting, (laughs) I'm going to give you a copy of my book, Rewired for Wealth, free, Uh, as a download once you take the quiz to help you figure out what's the right path to basically resolve this hidden profit block that's showing up and give you some steps to take to help you flourish and thrive again. So looking forward to hearing your thoughts on this. Head over to the show page on AmplifierSuccessPodcast.com or join us in the community or both. And let's raise your game. This is Melanie Benson, your host. Thanks so much for listening in today. If you want to catch up on any of the show notes and circle back on any of the resources we shared in today's show, head on over to the show page at AmplifyYourSuccessPodcast.com. And remember, you amplify your results faster when you're in a community of other people who are moving and shaking. Join us at AmplifyYourSuccessCommunity.com. One last thing. When you've gained insight from today's episode, help us share that and inspire other people by heading over to iTunes, subscribing, and give it a review. iTunes absolutely loves seeing these reviews pop up, and it actually helps boost my show's visibility. So I would be super grateful for your reviews. And as always, I love seeing your shares of these episodes on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Come find me over there. Tag me in your shares. I'll give you some social media love right back. So see you next week for another inspiring episode of Amplify Your Success Podcast.